Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. Love you all. All right. Uh, so uh, I know most of you are watching me, and you know that I have been getting the downloads, and I'm going by the downloads uh, at this point in time. Um, I can't stop myself, you know. I don't feel like to get out of my blanket, stay there. It's so cold, but can't help it, my dear beautiful viewers. Some of you really need to know what is going on. Um, you know, these are truly food for your soul, okay? So you, most of you have been following me and um, you know it is connecting to you. Thanks to all those who are donating and I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so very much, all right? Every little penny that you sent for me as a donation it really touches my life in a big way and i really really appreciate that all right so thank you so very much for that um, another thing that i would like to tell some of you all right this message is for those people who just come stays for two to three minutes and walks out all right these messages are not for you because if you disconnect in between, these messages will not resonate with you, all right? By saying so, I'm not saying that you'll have to stay with in this video till the end, all right? It is just that the messages are coming because you have to understand certain things. You have to know certain things. You have to go into the depth of certain things, all right? So every time the messages may not be how you wanted it, right? Because you see, uh, you can put in the karma, the outcome is not in your hand. So if you have been divinely asked by the universe to come into the channel, all right, and watch this message, then, then have that patience to stay because those who know me, uh, who waits for my video and wait till the, uh, you know, until the video logo comes, they are getting their results, my dear, you know. This is like food for them, my dear beautiful viewers, all right? Uh, if you are looking for something divine, 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 then you have to know what the divine feminine qualities are or what the divine masculine qualities are, how do you need to work on, what you need to work on, and how you can get into process of union, all right? Union is not like this, boom, all right? You, you did some kind of mantras for 21 days, as it is showing up in in the YouTube it's flooded uh, it's like a floodgate in YouTube so if you are getting to see these videos um, all right uh, in the YouTube uh, 21 days this that and um, you will manifest no my dear until unless your energy is vibrating in that divine frequency that we talk you cannot and uh, uh, attract a divine counterpart all right and then switching from one channel to other channel, looking for some kind of an information that can satisfy your mind. All right. These are soul food. So this food will be not liked by your mind. Let me tell you this. If you guys get triggered, that means you are supposed to be here and hearing me out. You should always follow my message, even if it gets triggered. That's how you're going to uh, empower and enhance yourself. All right. I have gone through five years of life experience, all right? And I know how I'm sitting out here, okay? I used to cry out to the universe during my journey, God, please send me some information. If this helps me, you know, I used to bang my head here and there, all right? And you know, when their calling is there, I used to land up there where I'm supposed to be and it used to feed my soul, all right? but. I realized one thing that there are many speculation going on in the YouTube about Twin Flame. People are just making money doing business, all right, uh, with this um, tagline of Twin Flame, all right. Everybody is giving you information one after the other. Somebody says this, somebody says this, all right. It is like your mind is triggering you. Your mind is manipulating you. You have to understand, my dear. All right. I'm telling you this. Hear me out. Okay. You get into this signs and synchronicities. You get into that signs and synchronicities. You have to even understand how the signs and synchronicities even work. All right. So 
some of you have sent me mail and asked me how the signs and synchronicities work some of you have also commented and whatsapp me so i would like to tell you my dear how the signs and synchronicities work all right if you are saying one 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 two 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 or three 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 these are master numbers okay let me tell you straight away these are master numbers that means whatever you were thinking at that point in time while you saw that number or right before you saw that number it is bound to happen that's a confirmation you thought something all right like okay my dm is i'm feeling this i'm feeling this guts all right that my dm is returning union is near all right this kind of feeling will be validated by numbers like 11112222 all right what 11 stands for it's very spiritual you are feeling that spiritual pull what 22 stands for it's partnership it's alignment it's balance all right what 3333 three, three, three is all about you have to know this master numbers and how you can sync with this numbers only when you tap into that understanding okay this is what i am thinking and i'm seeing this number this confirms all right but you have multiple thoughts going on and you are just seeing multiple different numbers and you actually have lost yourself in this you know you are not even aligned with your own uh, mind space okay and you are getting into that uh, hallucination kind of an energy where i'm not understanding anything that takes you for uh, again mind trip you know you go for that mind trip all right so uh, you have to you have to understand because see there can be 10 different things going on in your mind right how do you how you can be very sure that for the last probably uh, half an hour you're thinking the same thing all right and you are seeing this number repeatedly all right your thoughts are changing every moment every breath that you are taking all right so how can you be very sure that oh i was thinking like this so i'm seeing this number so this is how it is i remember i read uh, i was watching a very small quotation of like where uh, you know jesus christ was asking the angels it's a very funny joke kind of a thing where jesus christ was looking like this what this guy is doing it's like this asking the angels what this guy is uh, guy is doing i told this guy uh, i told her uh, not to go that route all right uh, leave that guy all right but why she is uh, not uh, following that then the angel says that she actually saw 1111 so are you getting me she is running after this guy just because she has seen 1111 it's a funny joke all right so you cannot it's more like this you know you created a thought then looking for a confirmation if i see 1111 then this is a confirmation that's wrong that's absolutely wrong somebody really needed to hear this all right mm -hmm. really needed to hear this doing unnecessary ways of manifesting and they don't know what they are manifesting in their life at the end and their life is going haywire all right so what is synchronicity you have been getting a thought random thought repeatedly repeatedly all right and this thought if you are not able to connect to that thought and you are not paying attention to the signs and synchronicities around you it will just keep popping popping multiple times all right whatever is going on is bound to happen or it is like this whatever you are thinking is right so first of all you will have to understand your mind whether you are thinking right or wrong it will have to sync with your heart what is going on in your mind it it will have to sync with your heart energy all right when they temper balance that energy the temperance energy that's when you start to have that signs and synchronicities going on all right otherwise you will you will get into a trap where you will have a lot of unnecessary questions and you will feel like what the hell is happening with my life there's this signs and synchronicities towards this person the signs and synchronicities toward this person all right what i'm trying to do but i'm getting a different kind of signs and synchronicities are you getting me you are trapping yourself into this i have gone through that trip my dear don't go that route all right don't go that route hold your horses that means calm your mind all right calm your mind okay 
that's why we keep saying tap into your heart space it will have a nudge you cannot just ignore it are you getting me you just cannot ignore it and that's when you just send across across this prayer to the universe that this is not making any sense to me father can you please just give me a you know clear confirmation where i am able to understand understand what exactly these emotions are or what i'm feeling what this nudge is all about why i'm feeling that root awakening within me about certain things are you getting me so when you make this kind of prayers then you will be able to understand but half of people are going into that you know maya all right they are thinking that twin flame is something you know like a chocolate you take out the wrap and you eat and you are done no no all right i get scared for some people really about uh, this entire twin flame thing i'm telling you this year twin flame dynamic whoever has been in separation will come in union all right there will be the no more a twin flame twin flame business all right i'm telling you this guys we have a master plan working on for the next 18 years out of which 5 years is already gone okay this all started since 2017 the mass awakening took place in the year 2018 january 1st 2018 if you add this number that's 1111 all right january 1st 2018 this journey started all right and this journey is supposed to get close the union should take place within this year Are you getting me? So if you have just recently come to uh, come into a connection, or just a year, or maybe just six months, forget that you are twin flame. Don't mind me saying this, my dear. All right. Don't manifest something that you cannot handle. Because I have been talking about twin flame energy in my reading for the last one year. All right. You can go back and you can see my twin flame energy episodes that I have done. All right. I have lost my twin flame all right my dear understand this okay these twin flames are not like lovers lovers all right going to have a beautiful sex beautiful dinner date and uh, dining and dating no 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 they are here on a mission man these twin flames are shiv and shakti partnership you see here to do something with with their masculine or without their masculine like look at me look at me Are you getting me what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so my dear, all right. What is awaiting you? You have no idea. All right. All you need, you all you can do is just surrender yourself to the universe. If you are not understanding something, don't try to keep hanging there, holding to your dear life. I'm saying fifteen, fifteen. You see? I saw fifteen, fifteen. Fifteen is what devil number, toxic number, right? only now only my eyes got into that time 15 15 i'm feeling like that some of you have to really really get out of that because you see i have got couple of cards that's all depicts mind nine of uh, swords mind detached from the situation all right uh, it's it's more like you know too much of information is also not good So you should know, even if you are getting informations from me, how much you can really genuinely connect. Ask yourself these questions. Do you really think I'm talking nonsense in some way? Is your because if you are having that any kind of triggering, that's your mind triggering you. Because if you go into the depth of what I'm saying, it will definitely make sense to you. Twin flame energy is not like that. You met today. Three months of bubble phase, and after six months you will come in union. Absolutely not. Twin flame energy is something that you may not even come in union in this lifetime. You see, can't help it. Can't help it. And union, if we are talking about twin flame, it may not be physical union. Like for me, my twin, my DM, he has transitioned. He tra he he channeled through me. All right, he channeled through me. Okay. He possesses my body sometime and we work in spirit, all right? Otherwise I can just, you know, shut everything 
uh, at the loss of my dm and you know uh, yeah do some uh, you know work and stay inside my home getting a, a, a you know fixed salary a month i'll be done because i have not left out with any dreams and aspirations because my team team is gone are you getting me that's not what uh, twin flames are irrespective of what you have lost or sacrifice or you you were forced to sacrifice by the universe all right behind everything there is a master plan all right this twin flame journey is a journey of devotion all right it's a test of faith you will be tested through this thick and thin uh, throughout this journey about how much you are uh, you know willing to surrender give out yourself for a bigger and better cause that's what twin flame energy is that's what shiv shakti were right that's how radha krishna did not come in union it's all about feeling that emotion leaving that emotion experiencing that emotion in every breath of yours you know twin flame energy is all about when two people meet each other it's a absolutely twin flame energy is absolutely like north pole and south pole energy all right that's why there is this instant connection intense connection and then there is this friction because after some time you realize that there is so much of common commonality between both of you familiarity similarities between both of you but yet there is something that does not connect yet there is something everything connects are you getting me that's what the energy is right you don't understand whether this is a twin or a karmic by the time you realize 3 years gone 4 years gone for some 6 years gone they even got married to somebody all right and after staying 6 years with somebody they again met each other and then they realize after 15 years that damn actually you know all through these years i have been thinking about you that's twin flame energy all right then they get married after they stayed there for 15 uh, you know 5 to 10 years together they got separate and after 5 years 10 years later you know when they got married to two different people in two different parts of the world then they are coming together and getting married again yeah that's i'm telling you my dear you don't know so don't get caught up with with the signs and synchronicities what signs and synchronicities are saying what signs and synchronicities are saying is not important what you are feeling is important when you what you are feeling is important when i why why i'm saying this because when you are very sure about your own feeling that's when you will ask for a validation or a conf- confirmation through a signs and synchronicities right that's when okay you automatically you have been feeling something very deep in your bones and then you land it up saying 1111 or 2222 all right or 2323 Let's say you have been thinking like you know what this is not my energy I am no no I am not like this this is not my energy all right you have this strong feeling that this is not my energy trust me the moment you uh, you know you have accepted that yeah this is not my energy all right automatically you will start to see a number that is like kind of um, projection number mirroring number let's say for example 2332 all right 45 Uh, uh 45 54 like that are you getting me mirroring number so you will know that you are actually projecting or mirroring somebody else's energy within you are you getting me what i'm saying how to understand signs and synchronicities and how it fits with your thoughts so your thoughts has to come in that alignment with your heart body mind soul and you are like yes this is what i'm feeling this is not mine or this is mine i have strong gut feeling you have come make peace with that thought within yourself then when that's when i saw 21 uh, 12 that's when you see a confirmation popping up to whatever you are thinking that's how you sync with the uh, signs and synchronicities not that you are creating some thoughts and then looking for some signs if i get to see 1111 2222 then that's a confirmation are you getting me no that's mind trick because you are now looking for it it will come popping in front of your eyes because you're manifesting this are you getting me and then what you are doing at the end you are getting lost with your own thoughts because of this manifestation what you have done 
with the signs and synchronicities but these are talking in something different way altogether this is what i am telling you with my own life core experience my there which i have gone through three years in separation all right every day i was brought onto my onto my knees crying out to universe father please help me i'll i'll die i need your help all right and whenever i used to be on that scenario on that position uh, on my feet on my knees trust me i used to get you know like for example i was having this kundalini awakening and i had them no clue but i was like no this is something unusual i have never experienced this as, I, as if like i was sleeping on a bed full of snakes all right i had chills over my body vibrations in my body and i was feeling freaked out all right and i was i was seeing different different things in front of my eyes and i had no clue why the hell i'm seeing all this all right about 4 years back and i was like help me i had no head way uh, strength in my hands to even hold my phone so i just said please father help me what is it that i'm feeling because i cannot even explain that in the google to find an answer to that because by this time i had no idea about what kundalini is all right and what are the symptoms of kundalini is so i was i i just made this pitch but i am not understanding father please help me please help me and you won't believe i just open got into youtube the first thing that was there in the video was kundalini 11 signs of kundalini uh, awakening all right not rising okay 11 signs of kundalini awakening i said what i have been hearing about this kundalini a lot i mean let me see what this kundalini is all about and i entered that video this exactly this 11 signs that the guy was or the lady was uh, talking over on that video it was what was happening with me that just validated my answer and then i came to know oh damn i have gone through i i got into kundalini awakening then i don't know what what is going to happen next are you getting me because i know one thing that kundalini energy is a very powerful energy all right it's a universal powerful energy that much or only i had idea all right but what it is going to do next i had no uh, no clue about it then i had no other option than read about kundalini in the entire detail are you getting me that's what i was doing because what i was experiencing i was trying to find answers to that all right and that's how i have progressed in my journey and, and then again another two years of hell of a ride all right one year of understanding what the dam thing is like seven chakras and kundalini and why these things are happening with me by that time like i got into another lesson of past life akashic record then this and then that and then i know how the signs and synchronicities work all right so don't get carried away your mind will trick you but don't get tricked by your mind otherwise nothing will live with with uh, with you then to nine of swords and universe uh, order for you it's a judgment for you that detach from the situation let go of past all right you just be generous kind and you know like this all right that father i don't understand what this connection is all about i strongly feel this all right and uh, i leave this connection unto you if you feel that we are made for each other we are compatible for each other then bring us uh, together until then please let me know what i need to do if your prayers are like this we spirit guides will come and bring forth your soul food what you need to know what you need to do next but if you're channeling from channeling you know skipping from uh, you know skipping and going from channel to channel and not putting in some work to yourself like after getting some guidance like what i need to do now or what i should be paying attention to focusing on prioritizing certain things in my life you get into that trip then you will never be able to come out of that nine of swords and this nine of swords can take into schizophrenia you will go crazy i got i got crazy for one year gosh i don't want any of you to go that route my dear i seriously say that all right i cry out to our father okay father i am standing like this all right if you have to take anything like take it from me leave this you know this these are my babies all right trust me i i really pray they don't know all right so just i'm i'm praying for them 
I'm seeking mercy and forgiveness uh, from them. So please, Father, all right, don't bring that power experiences for them that I have experienced. That kind of prayer I make, my dear. And those who stay still uh, till the end, I know who are those, all right? Just collective few. And these messages are for you only. Because I know you guys get carried away at times. All right. And some of the times you really don't understand why this sign keep popping up, keep popping up in front of you. And that's when I come and tell you that pay close attention to your thought, your emotions, what exactly you are feeling by and by over and over again. All right. And you are not paying attention. That's why the sign is popping, popping in front of you to bring your attention to that. I'm telling you, my dear beautiful viewers, calm your mind and align your heart and mind all right blend it once you blend it you will see what exactly strongly you are feeling and to validate that feeling of yours to validate that feeling of yours universe will automatically send you sign i don't know why i'm speaking this you know So I don't know why I'm speaking all this to you. It's just that I got the download and I am having unusual phenomena around here. Trust me or not. There is a sudden spark or in the in the window out there uh, where is, there is no possibility of like that. But I had a, I saw a spark and then I saw a orb passing by here. Are you getting me what I'm saying? I'm repeating it. There is a reason behind it, all right? New moon to full moon, full moon to uh, new moon. This moon cycle can take you for a beautiful ride of the entire universe, all right, universal energy, all right, because in 30 days, moon changes its color, its phase, like anything. That's how mind is, all right. So this time, moon is having a powerful uh, radiation of its energy, all right, into the cosmos, into the mankind, into the mother earth, all right. So that's why probably these messages are coming. Signs and synchronicities will increase. It is. It will only increase so that you are able to blend your emotions and your mind space together, all right? So that you don't go for a mind trip, all right? So that's why these messages are coming. So I'm sure what I spoke, and if you have stayed till now, what was meant for you and what you were supposed to hear, okay? So get into that understand and calm that have that control in your hand all right otherwise uh, you will be taken by surprise all right you will really be taken by surprise you will not understand uh, the real faces of people all right because you are not understanding your own real uh, thoughts you are not aligned with your own thoughts how can you get uh, aligned with somebody else's thought when you are not aligned with your thought all right when you are not in union with yourself, how can you get in union with uh, a divine counterpart? All right. When you have not found the divine within you, how you can uh, claim or pray for bringing your divine uh, masculine into your life? Talking about DM, DM, DM. All right. First, find the DF within you. All right. First, find the DF within you. Find the DM within you. You have that yin and yang energy. That's twin flame energy. Everybody is a twin flame. All right. It's aligning this energy within you. Once you have completely come in that alignment, vibing in that frequency of divine masculine as well as divine feminine, and you know how to balance this energy, that's when, you know, these phases will automatically start, that bubble phase. Like the way first time when you met and you started, it will automatically pan out the second go round, all right? But in a positive vibration. This time you guys are compatible for each other. Because why? In separation, you are also putting in the work, getting to know the higher knowledge and wisdom and what this connection is all about. You are putting in the work, all right? So do they. In a different dimension, they are also putting in the work and they are also, uh, you know, trying to understand and mature, be compatible for you. So you have to be compatible for them and they have to be compatible for you, all right? In spirit first. And when you get that peace in spirit, that's when you come in alignment in this 3D body. And that's when you get into, um, you know, union in the 3D world. All right. If not, then this journey can continue lifetime after lifetime. All right. That's why some this soul, this union, ultimate twin, 
they have signed this contract no matter how much of tough time that we go through we will not uh, leave this journey all right leave this journey in twin flame dynamic you will never never have any kind of attraction for anybody except for your dm trust me on that if you have attraction for this person and then you know if your dm is showing tantrums or rude attitude behavior towards you you will still love this person and you will not uh, even pay attention to you know somebody else you will be completely shifting your focus from anybody all right not even your dm and you will put on to yourself because you the the connection that you felt about twin flame it's there with 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 your masculine with your divine masculine so that's why you can never feel any kind of connection with others not even for flings i'm telling you if you have that kind of connection with somebody all right if your divine masculine is not there then you are uh, you know having some casual dating this and that all right and if you are a masculine and you are having casual dating and this and that with uh, other girls then no you cannot you just cannot i'm telling you all right i'm telling you this all right so it is like this because two soul has signed a contract in twin flame dynamic they have promised to come in uh, in union this lifetime after paying their karmic debts and after all the sacrifices all right and do something for mother earth mother gaia all right and bring uh, lovers you know those soulmates fallen apart souls all right together in union all right so you do it alone or do you do it in partnership so there are other twin flames who has already come in union and they are doing their purpose helping others they have their own community ngos this and that all right so you will be forced by uh, you know you will not be a person who will be into that corporate job 5 uh, to 6 job no you will be doing something your own every twin flame will have their own business i'm telling you this all right i'm telling you as written in scriptures all right i'm telling you this they will have their own business all right because they have a divine has a master plan all right so they will be into spiritual business where they will be Uh, supporting the mass helping the mass or uh, mass all right uh, collectively and everybody is vibrating in that energy and coming together some are already some are there who has gone through this time where as uh, dm has already transition you know and they have dedicated their life to uh, i know many all right they have dedicated their life to old age people all right changing their diaper you know completely dedicated in that mission service to serve others all right so you don't know what this journey holds for you my dear okay but yeah there is a chapter in bible you can read if you want to know what twin flame dynamic is all right there is a lot of speculation that there is nothing written in scriptures about twin flame but no in bible also it is there in other our spiritual books also it is there all right so songs of songs is a chapter in bible you can read that chapter that talks about twin flame journey and it's very difficult to understand it's you have to really go into the depth to decode those messages in that chapter of bible songs of songs okay the time has finally come that you know your mind needs to be in your control not in the control of outside world outside triggering all right that means even if you get triggered by me i talk sense or i don't talk sense for you it should not trigger you but if you are getting triggered then there is an area of working on yourself are you getting me that's what i'm saying your karma will be rewarded by your father in heaven so you continue to focus in your karma keep going ahead and while you you are going ahead making sure that you are touching others life you are making a difference to others life not gossiping bickering all right trying to be a naysayer and show your narcissistic attitude or ego this and that all right yeah so in twin flame energy this is higher level of energy we don't vibe in that energy all right so that's what i'm trying to tell you and you know those who are listening to me by their heart and soul they read my face also 
because I when I'm looking into the camera I can really tap into your soul space and bring out what is hidden there that you are not even able to speak to yourself and that crazy all right because you see I'm not one spirit my DM possess me I'm, I'm speaking through that all right there's two energies speaking at this point in time the divine masculine and the divine feminine as well whatever energy you are vibing that will trigger you all right so you can understand that if your divine masculine energy is not uh, in, in in an alignment certain things that I'm going to say or I'm saying it will trigger you but if you're vibing in that feminine energy you know love 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 you will be happy with all the messages that I'm giving because it's motherly right motherly energy is all love and compassion they don't see oh all the negative things all right only a masculine energy will be like look at her how she is talking look at her arrogance you know you will be like this you are looking trying to forcefully trying to find some kind of all right you know too much of show i hear you you know i sometimes hear some of you trust me that's why these are coming okay so this is what i'm trying to tell you you have to understand the masculine energy how it works and you have to understand how the feminine energy works just imagine your father and mother all right how your father how father is and how mother is all right so it's like this that kind of an energy it is twin flame all right a mother will never have any kind of grudges or hatred or any kind of like lowering down kind of you know i am all in all they never show like that a mother is a mother all right a mother will love you the way you are okay so for me you all are babies but when it's my masculine he he tries to tell you tell you some kind of uh, actions that you need to take like disciplinary measures yeah you need to take certain disciplinary measures in your life to enhance your life that's how a father does right your father orders you don't do this your father stops you from going there or here you know are you getting me that's what I'm trying to tell you. You have to understand the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy and how it works in your body and how you can understand whether this energy is a divine masculine energy within you uh, working or your divine feminine energy to understand this also to blend it and then blend with the signs and synchronicities that are coming uh, uh, in your visions or around you. You have to have that alignment my dear that blending of your mind and heart all right and that can be done only when you have calm your mind a running horse cannot you know a monkey jumping from tree to tree cannot all right that's how the mind is all right that's why that's why we say if you tame the beast within that's the mind that keeps tricking you and you tap into once you have had that that anchor you have controlled your mind automatically your soul will take you to the depth of that mind which is we call brain you will start to walk from your brain all right that's what i'm trying to tell you and that's when when you tap into that brain space you can see you can understand that you have got, you got into a inner engineering of yourself now this brain will function in a different way all right completely in a different way and then you will be able to understand certain things from a different perspective altogether you'll be able to see certain things from a different way altogether absolutely everything will turn 360 degree all will be new all right that's what i'm saying that's what twin flame dynamic is and at one point in time it will be like this you will not be even able to recognize yourself but you will fall in love with yourself that before the union that's how you feel you actually fall in love with yourself you know it happened with me before my union all right i was just falling in love with myself i was singing dancing and you know i was feeling very romantic romantic but in the 3d reality i already said goodbye to my dm i said like go to hell i don't want to even see your face i completely shifted my focus i was doing my work and i was doing fine and that's when we really came into union but you see after God really helped me fulfill a couple of my wishes when he was with me, then he's gone. All right. So you see, I have signed a contract. All right. So that's what I'm trying to tell you, my dear beautiful viewers. 
don't try to forcefully manifest anything that you are not even sure of your own thoughts and emotions all right and you may end up manifesting something and you will be regretting for the rest of your life because by now you are not even able to understand your own true emotions all right or give an explanation to yourself so it's all about twin flame energy is all about working on yourself all right not working on somebody else or making somebody do this this way do that that way all right you have to do it this way you have to do it that way no 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 it is not pointing out things on others it is all about doing that inner engineering within yourself and then be that compatible piece for your divine masculine when he is going through his own lessons in a di different dimension taken care by the universe that's none of your business to interfere that's the father son yours is the father daughter are you getting me the energy wise i'm talking divine masculine and divine feminine all right so that's what i'm trying to tell you all right so in spirit you guys uh, is always connected and if you feel that connection into your bones into your cellular body every atom and cells of your body you have no choice to even question all right and when you make peace with that signs and synchronicities will automatically come to confirm that when you have you got a confirmation stay with that don't look for then again something triggered you and then oh damn this experience is telling me that this is not twin flame you exactly disconnected energetically are you getting me what i'm saying because you have no option to doubt because your father in heaven is trying to test your faith all right trust your devotion check test your devotion how much you believe in this connection also all right or you are having this we call in hindi khayali pulao right you have this different kind of thoughts going on illusions going on and you are getting trapped so don't get trapped all right so you have to really understand what these messages are coming and from where these messages are coming and how these messages are going to really talk to you and that cannot be done if you are staying here you have to come from here to here all right let me hear her out let me see and when you have heard it just sit and try to recall what i said and talk to yourself whatever i just said is making sense to you really making sense to you or not when you know that yes it is making sense to me then you will understand all right so i hope this message has helped you in some way shape or form all right even if it has not helped you trust me whatever you are supposed to hear whatever you are supposed to really really work on my thoughts will keep coming all right i'm a psychic medium so it i it will automatically keep coming until you start working on it this is for your betterment that's how i have set up an intention i won't be doing my holy spirit gets into that all right so that it you know we can help you we can help you and we can protect you from going uh, route only you can get thorns out there all right only you will bleed we come with this harsh messages also so that we can save you you know and direct you to the right path and you know give you the right guidance all right what is to come uh, and how you can work through the energies currently that is going on okay and in the process how you can really really enhance your life and as well as you can touch others life too all right i hope to meet you all again in the next video until then do take care of yourself om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye